In the same way that, that the NFL has a preseason football problem on their hands, well, then the regular season starts, we don't talk about it. And then when Kawhi is going to go out there and start dominating, we won't talk about it. And when the playoffs hit, we won't talk about it. But on nights where on ESPN, hey, tune in, everybody, Clippers and uh, and Bucks, and who's not playing? Or hey, Clipper fan, you're you're spending all this money on these season tickets because you're excited Kawhi's in town and Kawhi's uh, not playing. Stinks. But I do want to give credit where it's due, and I don't know where to give credit where it's due. Whoever came up with the term load management. That it's, is genius it's great. because it's really great. you got to come up with a term for it. Let's sit around and just say, okay, so we're not going to play our players tonight, even though they're fully healthy and ready to go, because we know over the span of an 82 game season, it might, it might be beneficial to us to have him play 74 games, 72 games. We need him. Hey coach, we've come up with, we've looked at Kawhi's an entire career and we saw last year he missed some time due to injury. So we saw how he performed and how well he performed. And we know based on his A, body type, B, his career, C, all this sort of business, we've, we've, we've taken out the protractor and the slide rule, and we figured out eight to ten games would be best. And then Doc would go, um, eight, eight's better. No, I'm, I'm sorry, it's ten. And then Steve Ballmer comes in out of the, you know, like the man living in the van down by the river and says it's mm -hmm. all about the Larry OB. And then they all sit down and they all wonder, okay, 10 games. But we've got to come up with a term for it. Can't be rest, right? Rest. Can't say rest. No. Rest is well, boring. Rest makes right. it more of an affront. Yeah. Rest makes it a total affront right. to a fan. Rest. Rest. No, rest. I don't rest. I, I've got two jobs. I've got a job. I got well, this. I'm I got here that. at the game. I came to the yeah. game. I paid money. Rest. You can rest rest in July. So you can't say rest. Did not play coach's decision. Coach's decision. Wait a minute. Coach. Is there help. something going on? Is yeah. there, are they not on the same page? You know, that's the dreaded words in sports. Not on the same page. Not on the same page? Are they not on the same page? Mm. Can't be on that. I mean, is there something going on? Can't be. Did not play coach's decision. So let's come up with something. What can sound like it's medical, but it really just means... He's not playing because we need him to rest. I got it. Load management. I mean, and of then of course somebody has to. I'll, I'll, you know, I always spit you the truth here. Somebody had to sit there in the room and say, "Well, wait a minute. Is somebody going to think that they have problems pooping? <laughs> Do they have a problem pooping?" I'm sorry. No, I'm. I'm sorry. I know I'm using the term of the. You know, I got three kids, eleven and I was under. Gonna at say, home. You've been no, your I mean, kids no, 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 thing, no, 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 no. Is there a potty issue? You can't say did not play. Potty issue because then, you know, load management. Oh my God. Load management sold. And then, in, in, and in the same way, I'm on a roll here. In the same way that all networks that cover the NFL decides to use for all teams not yet in a playoff position, but Around it, the words in the hunt, trust me, we don't get a memo from the NFL or ESPN and NFL Network and ABC and NFB, NBC and Fox and CBS and Baby Fox. We don't we all get a memo saying you got to use the words in the hunt when you're showing the playoff picture. But we do. And we're now using it. We're now, we're now using, oh, yeah, it's load management. Like, what's the, it's the, is it, workload management is that what the load is it's a workload right or it's just hey it's a load this season is a load man it's a load we got to manage the load of the season is it is it a is it a load of just pressure got to manage the pressure chris you're you're not helping me here because no, i'm trying no, to no. figure out no, no. what the, what is the load because we're all assuming what the load is, and that's that's not what I think they're talking about. And that had to be the discussion. Who is the George Washington of the term load management because they deserve an award? That's my take on load management because everybody's freaking out and teams aren't going to suddenly say, you know what? 
<sighs> Fans are are right. Is it this Kawhi's just, uncle? No. No, no. This is this had to be somebody in a in a in a PR department or a medical department or something. Is it Drake? <laughs> Was that the original title of Hotline Bling? Yeah. Load management. Load management. Yeah, it just never ranked too. Yeah. It's not gonna get fixed. Because this didn't start are... until last year, right? No, 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 no. It was been a Were less... teams doing this for a while? Sure. I am sure. Was it pop? Hold on a second. Might have been pop. I am sure. When I went to Madison Square Garden as a kid and say, like, uh, Ray Williams or Trent Tucker didn't play or Michael Ray Richardson, you know, yeah, <laughs> didn't play, it was they were resting him. It was, a, but it's the 21st century, so we got to come up with something and we're going to call it load management. And we don't care if it sounds like somebody's got a pooping problem, mm. but we're calling it load management because it's a load of, that needs to be managed and it sounds great. But we all see through it. We all know. It's interesting because you can't say we have to undertake load management because we want to be number one. Can't say it. <laughs> it doesn't work. But it's true. Hey, <laughs> we must undertake load management because don't want to be number two. Things can go number two if we don't properly load manage. See, it just doesn't sound right, but when you say, did not play load management, you're like, hmm, okay. Well, something must be up. They're still just playing basketball, right? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. What's our poll question today, Chris? All right, I'm gonna, yeah. we're just, just going to get into this. Just, just straight out the front You're gonna door. You're going to get into load management? Yeah, we're, yeah well. Okay, what yeah. else? Uh -huh. Do you care if teams rest stars for load management? Yes or no? At Rich Eisen. Like yes show. or no? I mean, who's going to say no? Well, right now, no is ahead. <laughs> well, because they didn't buy tickets to see Kawhi last night in Los Angeles. I have tickets to see Celtics Clippers what on if, the 20th. What if Tatum gets load November managed? November 20th. What if Jason Tatum gets load managed? That's the night. They decided. I'm not going to be happy. Mm -hmm. Like, if Kawhi is out that doesn't play that game, like, well, what the hell? Well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The reason why they load manage is it's back-to-back -back nights. They play tonight against Portland on TNT, and ESPN will be like, what the hell gives? Okay, so Turner gets him. He'll play tonight. That's the way they do it. They pick a day. We're not going to play at the front end of back-to-backs in, in October and November. We don't have to. Do you think these guys owe it to the TV partners and the fans to play? I'm sure TV partners say yes. Do you? Do you? Do I? Yeah, I'm a TV guy. Yeah, I want to see you. Like, what if Deshaun Watson in London, load management? Yeah, well, there will be no load management in the NFL, pal, because there's only 16 games. One game in the NFL is a significant amount. It's big. That's how big it is. There's no load management. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.